This is how to make the perfect Flappy Bird game part two in Scratch. Okay, so I loaded in this pipe. Now I can begin coding. One green five click hide forever. Wait a second and create clone of myself. And just for purposes, go to zero zero. And when I start as a clone, go to X three hundred real quick. Three hundred show. This will not be coded the best, but you know it works. Repeat thirty times. Change X by negative five. And then repeat. Right click duplicate negative five until I'm going to do say X position. And now if I run it, as you can see, it says their X position over here. And it looks like it stops at negative three hundred forty seven. So I'm going to do repeat until X position is less than I'm gonna do 346 just because if it's less than negative 347 that'll be negative 348 so you just want to go like one up okay and so now if I do delete the clone now as you will see it should disappear and that means it's disappearing behind there. Pretty neat. So, now I'm going to get rid of the, say, X. And now this is basically the Flappy Bird game, except I'm going to make it wait 1.5. Okay, now we have a little bit more time in between. But also, we don't want it to just be, like, staying, you know, in the middle. So, we're going to do pick negative 75, 75. So, now it should be random. As you can see, this one's up here. That one's down there. This one's up here. This one's down here. You know, they're all kind of random, which makes the game a lot more enjoyable and, like, you know, not repetitive. So, now we have to make it so if we hit it, we die. So, now I'm going to go into the bird. And I'm going to do forever in the it. One great fuck click touching pipes then I'm going to stop other sprites in the script and i'm going to set my speed to 10 right click duplicate get all that and just put this in a repeat until down here so now if we see this i just begin to fall and die even if i hit the space bar we don't do anything but now the pipes are still going so we also have to fix that and just for more convenience i'm gonna do broadcast player dead or whatever you want to call it i guess and i'm also gonna make a variable real quick actually i could right click rename this one to player state or call it whatever you want like i said and now i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get rid of this forever i'm gonna do repeat this until now i can also put a forever over it equals player state equals alive actually i'm gonna just do all lowercase alive and so now whenever this is alive i'm gonna say state to alive alive it's going to run this but when i come down here i'm going to set and also for more convenience i'm going to put up here set player state to dead or something that's just not alive or actually no repeat this until player state equals dead i'm actually stupid sorry and you can also put in the forever loop okay so now it's going to stop creating the clones and whenever you see player dead you can just stop other sprites in the script so now if you look at this boom stops everything pretty cool so now if i'm just playing the game oh no i die but also it looks kind of ugly so let me just do this real quick wherever just go to front so now boom i died how tragic and then i'm just also going to if touching pipes right click duplicate or edge then it's gonna run the exact same thing so now if i just do that i hit the top and i die and then when i receive player dead i'm going to wait 0 0.5 p 10 times change ghost by 10 hide and up here i'm going to set ghost to zero so now if we look i just kind of like disappear you know but I might just do it for like a second. It's really just up to preference. So if I go all the way up here, then you can see like a little bit of a fade. 0.75 might actually do. Because you can't really notice it. Pretty cool. And so now just for convenience, I'm going to make a high score or a score system. I'm going to remove the player dead. Make a variable for all sprites. Score. And that's going to be a cloud variable if you are a scratcher. High score. Okay, now I'm going to do set score zero. And now I'm going to do go in the pipes. Now just to check, I'm going to do say X position. And so now I'm going to look when it crosses. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's zero. I'm kind of stupid. And then when I start forever, wait until equals X zero. And I'm going to change score by one. I have to do when I start a clone as you can see the score goes up by one every single time it goes to the middle basically it's just a simple little score system there's many different ways you could do it but i'm just gonna do this one because i'm like a little bit lazy and so now i'm going to do one green if i clicked forever if greater than if score is greater than highest score then set high score to score okay this might sound confusing but so now if i do that boom it changes to one two now if i die then i restart again now it'll forever just change it to its high score that's just a little bit of a simple high score whoa okay and also since that actually might happen um i'm just gonna do this real quick i'm just can do that little thing up there just in case to see if that fixed a bit of an issue hold on okay whatever it will fix it so it's okay double click and change that into that so now that's how you make the pipes for flappy bird like and subscribe for more bye for part three